For the past few weeks, we've been learning how to implement a maze navigating LEGO robot. So right behind me is the arena. It's where the maze has been set up. And there are several robots in each league. And we each had to compete to make sure that we can get to the end of the maze in under three minutes and without any interventions, as in without me picking it up, adjusting it, making sure that it, it goes well. One intervention in hand. At the end of the day, there's going to be the grand finale where all the robots, all the best robots from each league are going to compete against each other uh, to discover whose robot of the whole cohort has been the best. Yeah, it's you. This is a course on bio-inspired computing and robotics. Part of the course is to show how living systems function and uh, find their way around in the environment. And that, of course, is what robots have to do. So we teach the principles, uh, the basic principles of how that works. And this exercise uh, brings it all to be very real because we've set up a maze, then it's up to them to design a robot which is capable of finding its way around the maze without incident, without touching the sides, without uh, intervention. First and foremost, robots uh, involve hardware. Motors can overheat, sensors can start working, and so you know, those are serious problems. Come on, turn. Oh, turn again. Yes. yes. Okay, so the components on the robot, you have here the motors, the left and right motors, and they are the ones that turn the wheels. You have two ultrasonic sensors, and they're the ones that actually see the distance from any object that comes in their way. Um, you have the main body, which is this, this big controller. This is where we send the code to. This is where the Java code that we write on our computers is being sent in here. And this basically gives the information to the, to the motors, to the sensors, takes information from both, and passes it back to, to the Java. So everything is a back and forth between the robot and our computer. You saw the robots turning away from the walls, keeping themselves in the center. What we saw today is a lot of successful runs, and that's because they've been using some of the principles of negative feedback control, in other words, using sensor data to correct, um, has been very, very well established. It's very well known in engineering, but it's not very well known by computer scientists. Uh, but of course, it's computer scientists who provide the brains of uh, future robots, and so they need to know this theory. This is not just some packed solution, this is a, an algorithm that they've been taught being made real. You're delegating some decision-making to the robot and how do you make choices about what are appropriate decisions for an autonomous agent to make? There's a lot of discussion about self-driving cars just now. Um, the issues are deeply technical, um, but there are also some serious issues, sort of ethical issues, about just how much responsibility would we be prepared to delegate. The need for the appropriate software and algorithms is absolutely paramount and so it needs computer scientists who really understand uh, what that means and who have had, got their hands dirty if you like with the, the practical realities of putting it in the real world and this is just sort of part of that journey, bigger picture.